Hello. Some functions are widely used in variable speed drives. In this video, we will take a look at the commands turn stop, start stop, and forward reverse applied to the CFW500 variable speed drive. The turn function of the drive when enabled starts the motor by acceleration ramp up to the reference speed and when disabled, that is stop, turns the motor off by deceleration ramp until it stops. In this video, we are using this feature commanded by a digital input programmed for the turn stop function. In the turn stop command, also called on off or two wire control, it is recommended to use a normally open contact block associated with a fixed selector switch connected to the digital input of the plugin module. It is worth remembering that, for this example, we will consider the CFW500 iOS standard plugin module as the basis. For other plugin models, the user must pay attention to the identification of the terminals related to the chosen model. By identifying the terminals of the respective digital input, which will be used for this function, in this example we will use the digital input DI1, that is terminals 1 and 16, to connect the normally open contact. This means, when switching, it will close its normally open contact, transmitting a signal to digital input DI1. After the physical connections have been made, a basic programming is required. Considering that the drive is already with the factory default configuration and the modern nameplate data entered in the drive, we suggest setting P220 to 1 which is the remote reference selection, P222-0, where we have the remote speed reference through the HMI keys, P227-1, which is the turn stop selection on remote via the digital input, and finally P263-1, also to one, which is the function of the digital input DI1 for the turn stop command. Once the physical connections are completed and the parameters are set, we see here an operation representation for the two wire turn stop command. When switching the knob to the on position, it closes its normally open contact and the drive will accelerate the motor up to the speed reference set by the HMI. In this example, 30 Hz. Switching to the off position, the NO contact opens and the drive will turn off the motor respecting the deceleration ramp. The next command is the start stop with three wire connections. That setup uses a pulsating button where you can start and stop the motor without the need for an external contact for the circuit interlock. In other words, you need two control signals connected to the digital inputs. In this example, the digital input DI1, terminals 1 and 16, will receive the normally open contact signal from the on bottom for the start function, and the digital input DI2, terminals 3 and 16 will receive the normally closed contact signal from the off bottom for the stop function. Remember that the signals will be executed by Pew's commands on the push buttons. Next, you must set some parameters in the drive, so the on and off function by three wire command can be executed. In this example, we recommend P220 to 1, remote selection. P222 to 0, there is remote speed reference by HMI. P227 to 1, which defines the source for the turn stop command in the remote situation via digital input. P263 to 6 which is the function of the digital input DI1 for the start command. And finally, P264-7 
assigns the function of the digital input to as being stop. In this operation representation, it can be observed that a pulse on the on button is enough for the drive to start the motor without the need for external accessories to keep the motor in operation. And, to turn it off, all that is needed is a pulse on the off button so the normally closed contact opens and the drive turns the motor off respecting the deceleration ramp. Finally, we take a look at the forward and reverse function. This command is the combination of turn stop with the turn in direction. For this, you need two normally open contacts connected to digital inputs. One contact on the digital input DI1, terminals 1 and 16, which in this example will receive the signal of the up arrow bottom. For the forward function and another contact on the digital input DI2, terminals 3 and 16, which will receive the signal from the down arrow bottom for the reverse function. It is worth remembering that for this example, we are using push-button contacts, but if the user needs to keep it actuated for longer periods, it's necessary to use fixed selector switches on the digital inputs. Next, you must set the parameters in the drive so that the forward and reverse function are executed in this example, we recommended setting P220 to 20 to 1, remote selection, P222 to 0, which is the remote speed reference via the HMI, P227 to 1, which defines the selection for the forward reverse command in the remote situation via digital input, P263 to 4, which is the function of the digital input DI1 for the forward command. And finally, P264 to 5. It gives the function of the digital input to as being reverse. After finishing the digital input connections and adjusting the parameters, it can be seen in the operation representation that by keeping the up arrow button pressed, the drive starts the motor clockwise respecting the acceleration ramp up to the reference speed. And when the same bottom is released, the drive decelerates the motor by ramp until it stops. It also happens when the down arrow button is pressed. The drive switches the direction of rotation and starts the motor counterclockwise. When this button is released, the motor stops. These were some of the commands used in CFW500 inverter drive. For more information, visit our website and consult the product manuals.